You wish to see me, Smith. Artanus, it is good to see you, young executor. Phoenix? How... how can this be? It was his cloned personality that was used for the Purifier prototype. Given your friendship with the Source personality, I thought... well... He believes he was brought from Stasis and made a Dragoon. Why are you here, Phoenix? I was given a directive by Ogdaris himself to come to Glacius and serve the Templar. It is the last recollection from his memory web. The Great Templar were still encoded by order of the Conclave. Do you know about the experimentation done on Glacius? Why Aldaris gave you this order? I am a warrior, old friend. You know this as well as any. It is not my place to question the order of Adjudicator. This construction is highly advanced. An Adanium shell composed of a Trillic compression mesh. It appears he was to be the first in a revival of the ancient program. Enough! I have fought far too long for the will of the Conclave to be examined like some specimen. I am Templar, and I am reunited with the dearest of friends. Is this not a glorious day? You are right, of course. Carax, these tests are no longer needed. Phoenix, welcome aboard the Spear of Adun. have stood shoulder to shoulder, blades thrumming in the heat of battle countless times, and now you lead the Protoss. I will with pride at the mere thought of it. I was chosen to represent the hierarchy by the remaining Judicators and the clans of the Nerezim. I am still honored by their choice. Tassadar must be proud as well. Tassadar is gone, Phoenix. He fell, bravely sacrificing for his people. He saved us from annihilation. What? It... it cannot be. And... I... fallen to the Zerg as well? It has. How long have I lingered in stasis, becoming this... Dragoon? Do you know of the Purifier program, Phoenix? Of course. The greatest Templar minds replicated. Dangerous machines that had to be shut down. They were shut down, but we have never ceased the research, and still have tried to find ways to replicate our greatest Templar, to use that ancient technology. Why do you tell me this? I... I... We are facing a war like none we have seen before. We will need you in the days ahead. Maybe even the purifiers. Then my blades are yours, old friend. These new purifier designs rival any technology our people have previously conceived. The replication data is the sort that allows accurate duplication of one's consciousness. Phoenix's personality may be accurate. How accurate? Within the 99th percentile. So there is a chance for discrepancy. Quite a minuscule one. 
And in a lifetime, how many choices does that variation impact? Who would you be with such a difference in the decisions you've made? Keep a watchful eye on Phoenix. If he is to help us, I want to know who he is. We have acquired new robotic support technology for review. Carax has utilized data from Glacius to bring the robotic sentinels online. Use them wisely, Hierarch. The enemy shall be purified. The Shadow Guard waits. Greetings, Artanis. Seeing Phoenix once more perplexes me. I feel sadness, but I should feel joy. It is said the warrior Phoenix was felled by the Queen of Blades. This approximation is not Phoenix, but he is a reminder of the loss you suffered. His voice. Thoughts. His very presence. He describes memories we shared with such vivid recollection. Every instinct I have tells me that this is my friend. But all logic defies it. We of the Nerezim often ponder whether our people are the sum total of their experiences, or are more than them. A truth lingering inside us. In time, we shall see if this phoenix has his own truth. Or is little more than a flawed forgery. Hierarch, I see the master construction of the Zelnaga now. Their understanding that energy, essence, and information are all one. Each interchangeable, each mutable. Then you uncovered the information Zeratul foresaw within this keystone. I have. From what I understand, it will lead us to Ulnar. Ulnar? It is a place of myth. A realm whispered of in our legends. The home world of the Zelnaga. I believe the Keystone can project its location. Show me, Karax. I must be in error. The Alterian Rift! That is impossible. Nothing can survive within such unrelenting forces. It appears I have failed you, Hierarch. I do not believe so, Karax. It is said that the Zelnaga came from a place where no life should be. This aligns with Zeratul's prophecies. We will go in. Make preparations at once. Zeratul, many thought you mad, and yet, once more, you have seen truer than us all. The Keystone leads us into the Altarian Rift, 
to the Zelnaga home of Ulnar. It is my destiny to carry your mantle, old friend. I will wake the Zelnaga and honor your legacy. Distressed. Apologies, Hierarch. I have been pondering the events that brought me here. I have discovered there are holes in my memory. Battles recorded here in the ship's archives that I should be able to recall, but cannot. What is it you have found? Records of my defeat at Antioch and being revived as a Dragoon. But this body... It is clear to me that I am no Dragoon. There is more to those records, Phoenix. But what you uncover may not be desirable. I am willing to face the truth, old friend. However difficult it may be. Then I hope you find the answers you seek. How Zeratul foresaw the Keystone would lead us here is uncanny. It is now clear that it was this device's primary purpose. Zeratul was in touch with an expression of reality beyond my understanding. This place should not exist. It defies all decrees of science, shatters all understanding of astral mechanics. I once thought we Protoss had reached the pinnacle of attainable knowledge. I was a fool. There is far more in the galaxy than exists within Protoss' understanding, friend Carax. I know this now. I welcome you, Hierarch. It is hard to believe we stand above Ulnar, the home of the Ihan Ri, the Zelnaga. The Judicators theorized the Zelnaga left Ayer to return to a place such as this. It is said they slumbered through the ages. Zeratul believed the artifact would lead us unto hope. The Zelnaga may be the hope he spoke of. If the legends are true, then the Zelnaga are below, awaiting their children to awaken them. Then let us hope so. Hierarch. It appears we cannot receive transmissions while we are within the rift. We have been cut off. The Spear of Adun's sensors have located what appears to be an access way into the temple. Our starships are prepared to move on your command. Here lies the resting place of the Zelnaga. We must find a way to unseal this access way if we are to awaken them. Grand Preserver, what do you know of the temple in the depths below? Only myth, legend. Here upon Ulnar, the destined races will seek ascension. Their very presence shall open the way forward. I believe these celestial locks are the key. Our forces should claim them in the hopes the way forward presents itself. Hyalock, 
The Taldarim are here. They are taking control of the Celestial Locks. in phoenixes. They are extremely mobile and effective at engaging our enemy across long distances. indicate once we control the other four, the temple will open. Servants are moving to seize a lock.
Haldurim have deployed a titanic warp prism. If its core is similar to our own, the reactor is made of pure solarite. If possible, we should destroy it and claim the reactor to enhance our solar core. forces are inbound to our nexus point. I am the heart of darkness. You require my skills.
enough minerals.
It shall be as you say.
base is under attack. I am 
eager to strike. I fight on. Cold is the void. Mirage Gulio. Our truth. Warping the vessel's cargo aboard for further study. Cold is the void. have been captured, Hierarch. The access way is opening. It seems Amon's forces have drawn back. 
I sense only a great stillness from within the temple. Then we have succeeded. It will not be long before we see what fate has in store for us. I'm afraid the Spear of Adun will not be able to assist you inside the temple.